hello so i'm back again so in this video i want to talk about um, why i left my green card at 45 stage which most of you are aware of it i guess if you're in america uh 45 is the last stage you file when your green card date becomes current uh you file 45 is the last stage and then you get a green card within like six months to one year voila exciting right um yeah it is definitely exciting now i'm not gonna brag about it that i left it i did really a big thing or blah 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 i'm really great um i'm very brave that i left the green card no nothing like that in first place i filed the green card i requested my employer to do that so i wanted it you know waited i was in america for 15 years i wanted to extend my time after six years financial reasons of course um wanted to make some more money um there were kids on the way my we were expecting a first kid all those sort of things but again in this video i'm not saying that green card is a bad thing or if you are waiting for green card you're doing something wrong no of course um you should get it or you should not get it it's up to you but um my point of the video is why i did that that why i left the green card at that stage okay um not saying the green card is bad you know okay so once you so we cleared that now okay so next point why i did that is because um uh, my green card date was priority date was 2012. Um, it was current uh, for some time when I was in US and I really wanted to be back and I was contemplating whether I should file it now or should I wait or something like that was happening in my mind. Now why was uh, why I was confused to file 45 because uh, if I would have filed the 45, it would have taken six months to a year to get a green card. Very nice. But the the thing was happening with me. Um, I was getting, I was feeling that I were, I'm getting to the rabbit hole. Don't uh, judge me. I'll tell you why. Because my daughter, she was, uh, she, she, she was in sixth grade, um, 12 year old. I would have got the green card by she was by 12, 12 and a half or close to 13 elder daughter. And um, if I would have waited five more years, I would have got citizenship, you know. Um, it's all good. You know, that's what happens. Most of the people do that. Nothing wrong with that. Perfectly fine. But here's the challenge. If you have a plan to come back to India and you have a green card, which I would have got, the challenge I would have run into is I need to maintain the green card while I was in India. There are ways to do that. But what happens is like you get something called two years thing, which you can, you need to file a form and you can get a two year once in a lifetime thing. You can stay out of the country for two years without uh, worrying about the thing that your green card will be revoked and all those things. But before that, um, those who don't know, you know, if you get a green card through your employer, you need to wait five years, almost five years to get your, to file for citizenship. Um, and then you'll probably get a citizenship in sixth year. So total, total after green card is six years to become a citizen of America, United States. Um, so the window, which I was in, my daughter was 12, sixth grade, 12 and a half. She'll get a green card, seventh grade. I wait for five years to get a citizenship, she will be 18. You're getting it what I'm, where I'm heading, right? So the moment she's 18, she'll be, first thing is she doesn't want to come back because she spent most of her school life there, which is fair. I was, I, I was not able to, I was not thinking about pushing her anyways if I reached to that stage, which is wrong. Morally also, and um, for from her perspective also. Second thing is um, she'll go to college there, right? So she'll probably go to college there um, and then I would wait because I would wait for my kids, you know, to be there. I want to be closer to them till the time they are um, 
matured enough according to my standard or parent standard i would hang out around you know she goes to college in the united states and i wait for four years then she got a job then she got a job and then probably every other indian parent um i want her to get married right that would take some more time so given all that i would not be able to come back ever again now some people suggested me that oh you know what you can come back it's nothing big deal about it people got a green card there are ways to manage it i know few folks who did that and they are having a tough time so it was a practical and emotional decision this is the practical side of it um i thought that i'll be stuck when i say stuck don't don't get confused stuck in america because for me i wanted to come back to india that's why i'm using the word stuck um if you want to live in america and you're happy there very nice then stuck doesn't apply to you stuck applies to me because my ambition was different i wanted to come back so i'll be stuck um i would have been stuck there with the uh, waiting that my daughter will get graduated um undergrad or whatever and then she goes to the job and then she get married or i can choose to come back in between right as people suggested honestly it doesn't it doesn't work that well i know few folks who did that who had a plan that they'll come back once the kids goes to college you know to be brutally honest with you um you're not going to leave your kids in america when they're going to the college since you don't you 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 don't um you have a choice if you're forced to leave that's a different situation altogether but since you have a choice you'll hang out right and support them which is which is perfectly fine that's what every parent would do um but given all that you are end up spending most of your time there your kids grows there they go college there then you cannot come back because they get marry and chances of them marrying there is higher which is fine given all this situation you'll never be able to uh come back that's what i was feeling you know so i was i was like ah yeah i can wait but if i wait this will happen so all these things came together that's why i did not file 485 the last stage of the green card now is it something i did really noble thing no um do i regret it not at all um because i never planned to stay there for longer than whatever i stayed i had very short term plans but i stayed this much which is good um in future what will happen i don't know my kids are us citizens they want to go back well and good same thing happens but now they lived here at least for six my elder daughter will live here for at least six years till she done, does her under uh, 12th standard or high school and my younger daughter will is second grade so she will live here at least for 10 years you know uh, so given all those things this the decision i made not to take the green card just because of these reasons um given all 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 this background i gave you you may be thinking right it's a uh, it's not that wise to leave the green card and all those things so i had that um confusion a lot in my mind and i me and my wife always talking about it you know are we doing the right thing is it is it the right thing and all those sort of things um I, i it's like you you need to you'll miss one thing in your life you know if you leave the shore you'll enjoy the 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 boat or whatever you go in the water right but if you keep you keep sitting on the shore you'll not never enjoy the other part you know so you will you leave one thing you either will leave this or that you know you need to choose out of those things somehow i choose this is it right or wrong i don't know we'll figure it out as of now it's been more than 10 months 11 months something like that i don't feel like i'm missing out anything and uh, being um i've been in india since 2021 november i just went to us two months in between then if you see that i'm i'm in india for more than a year in the same town this indoor you know um so i'm not i'm not missing out anything as of now you know so given all that um green card is a good thing to have but it comes with the cost um you need to live there for five more years to get the citizenship and then i don't know 
how many of you can come back after that because your kids will go to college there i was feeling that i'm setting up myself for future regrets there would be two kind of regrets like two different regrets the regret number one um i was not able to return that's a regret number one if i take a green card regret number two um if i as i came back i don't have a green card now so which one would you be more upset about which will which one thing will you want to let go and which one thing you will want to choose i chose to be back and leave the green card um i don't know what happens after that if i can use that 45 i never checked and i don't want to check to be honest with you um but this is my background this is what i did i thought this was the right decision lot of my friends suggested not to do that for obvious reasons because they want best for me they my friends my family members some of them they wanted best for me so they suggested me don't do this uh you know but again you know i really wanted this i was feeling this from my heart that i should do this i did that and i'm here so again this is my story why i left the green card at that stage do you have any comments please feel free to post suggest or criticize or if it helps you a uh, thanks you know um thank you for your time i really appreciate you being so generous and listening to me um thank you hope i added some value um in your day have a nice day wherever you are enjoy one life man enjoy wherever you are that's more important than anything else you know thank you